we need to pray. Pray for godly discernment because um, this is such a sensitive issue. And I don't know if I could give any one right answer because for some, it might be three months. For others, I don't know. I mean, it might be three years. Um, and we need to pray that God would really give us, I mean, just supernatural, holy discernment about when is the right time to talk about these things. Um, you know, we need to make sure that they're really mature in their faith, they're growing, they're solid in God's Word, to be able to accept that, to accept that following Jesus means costly discipleship. Um, for, uh, you know, I, you know, for some that might be hard for them to take initially, I mean, but I mean, I don't know, I, I, I just don't see how someone could embrace the gospel without understanding costly discipleship, but you know, I mean, uh, we need to know that we're all on this, on this journey. Um, for me, it took, man, I don't know, two years. My parents never pushed. They always asked. That, you know, my, my, my father and mother tell me later, they, you know, when they visited me in prison, they're like, should we ask? Should we, t you know, because that was always in the back of their mind. Where, where is his stance on this? And they never asked. And, and I'm glad that they didn't because I know at that point, even though God was already working my life, even though I was being, beginning to be convicted about my sin, I think if they would have asked that time, that might have just maybe uh, be a little bit too early and, you know, I, I might have reacted. I don't know. Uh, but they never asked and, and they just waited. I, I, I really believe that we, we, as Christians, we need to uh, practice sometimes a spiritual gift of waiting.